Hello, good evening. This is part two of GM Pontiac Montana 2003 cluster replacement, removal and replacement. Excuse me. So I finally got the cluster out after getting this piece out. This was a pain in the ass to get out, but it's out. So now I got to put the cluster back together, which is not really going to be a big daunting task. I thought this was going to be extremely tiresome and extremely uh daunting but as it turns out the only thing i have to do is plug in these two pieces back in put the four screws back in and then put back in the interior and drive it and see if that fixes the issue because if it doesn't i'm gonna have to get it myself a new transmission or a nice used one for 1500 and i'm not trying to go on my dog on savings account again for this damn car but it looks like i might have to if this doesn't work so bear with me So right now I'm putting back in the new cluster. I'm about to turn on the key. Put it in drive one so I can put in my new cluster. 